so everybody, every actor's got their own method, right, to get yeah. the things done. And you've you've studied, I mean, the, through the whole gamut, I think, of a ways to prepare. Well, I taste it, you know, from several tables, and I take what works for me. Yeah. Hey guys, Pete Koch, breaking it down with actor buddy Paul Duke, and uh, he's got some great stories for us. Don't go away. Be right back. Hey guys, Pete Koch, breaking it down with actor Paul Duke. Paul, thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks, Pete. Good to see you again. I'm honored. He's got one of the greatest beards in all of Hollywood, no doubt about that. And how long have you been working on that beard, by the way? You know, in April is going to be my three-year anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> how many people have an anniversary for their beard? I mean, that is outstanding. But, uh, you know, I don't know you without a beard. I guess it's, it's about two and a half years I think I know you. And it, yeah. the beard was going pretty good at, at that point, but it's like, it's taken on its own uh, zip code now. It is, yeah. <laughs> And uh, how how has that affected you? You know, Paul is a, is a working actor, and I want to, and we're going to talk about Sin City Saints here in just a uh, just a minute. But for actors like you that have a such a powerful look, right? Paul's six foot six, absolutely chiseled, got the bald head and this massive beard. But I mean, has there been like this? before and after the before the beard and after the beard you know kind of a uh, careers for you as an actor what 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 oh yeah absolutely um like before i was basically like every other guy you know tall bald and you know clean shaven or a stubble right so there are enough of us yeah so um when i got the movie extraction um that's when i started growing it out so like a three week roast, you know, a little wild, you know, prison. Um, and then what happened is, you know, after I did the movie, um, I had another producer say, oh, Paul, you know, I like the beard. Don't shave it. We're going to use it. Like, okay. So that was for Parabellum. And uh, it was like a little thicker, like four or five months. And uh, suddenly I started getting more auditions, uh, commercial bookings for, you know, big brands, um, working with major directors, all with the beard. So like, wait a minute, maybe there's something on here. But, but at this point, at some point you had to go and make that change on your headshot, right? To let everybody out there? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, so, so you, that, you, at that point, just kind of a commitment, right? Yeah, yeah, and of course, you know, in commercial auditions, people will always ask, are you willing to shave? And then I say, it's negotiable, yeah. you know, be diplomatic about it, and then we'll see, you know. Yeah, uh, it's, is there any limit to uh, the size of this thing, or is this... Uh... Well, <laughs> a friend of mine uh, told me, like, every man has a limit. Meaning, you know, at some point it will stop growing. Oh, okay. So some people it might be here, some people it might be there, some people even longer. You know what I mean? So we don't know. That's each individual. Okay. So right now I think this is a good length. Um, it's distinctive. Um, no doubt. You know, kind of like ancient Greece, Rome, the Middle Ages, you know, the Vikings. So there are many roles. I don't want to go it too long. Saying this is about, you know, a good length yeah. for me, I think. About a year ago, you starred in a made specifically for Yahoo television series, Sin City Saints. I love it. Folks, if you haven't seen this, just go, it, you can find it. It's free. Go ahead and Google. Sin City Saints, it's about an NBA basketball team in Vegas. Sin City. Yeah. And you play Akbar. Or was it Ak am I saying? Art Talk. Art Talk. <laughs> Art Talk Sundov. Art Talk. <laughs> yeah. It's a funny character. And and uh, what kind of just tell the folks, man promise if you need a laugh, just just watch just watch one at, episode of this show but what was that experience like you actually shot this in Las Vegas correct we did yeah what, what was that like what was that and Tom Arnold who's some of the great actors you worked yeah. with on that Tom Arnold Marlon Ackerman um, Baron Davis uh, Rick Fox Rick you Fox. know so that's real NBA players in there yeah. that uh, yeah. but they're good actors too so it's good fun 
Yeah, they are. So, um, you know, for once in my life, you know, like when you go out on auditions, you know, you try to make it your own, but they're not, you know, really written for you. But here, for Sin City Saints, I knew this character, you know, a basketball player, you know, I got the height. I got, you know, the lean physique, um, the bald head, and, you know, a lot of players now, whether it's basketball, baseball, they all have like a nice beard. So for once, everything came together. So you felt, you felt that this role, now this was it, this was custom built for you. This was custom built. I knew it when I got the audition. It's like, you know, this is my role. It's perfect for me. So I was very excited, you know, doing the accent, you know, Serbian. Um, you know, I have, I have a good friend of mine who's Serbian and I've known him for like a decade. So just, you know, hanging out with him and hearing him talk, the accent came pretty easy for me. Again, I worked with a dialogue coach, you know, to make sure it was everything right on because sometimes his accent was too thick uh. and I tested it on set, right? So how it would be correctly in Serbian accent and then I Americanized it a little bit. So, for example, I was talking about um, a burger, right? So, when you talk about a burger, um, you might not necessarily know I'm talking about a burger. So, you know, more <laughs> burger, you know, like, so people understand it because if people miss the joke, then, you know, you're missing the whole thing. So, sometimes I had to put water in the wine. Just find, just strike that middle ground yeah. where you could get enough of a flavor of it without making it not understandable. Excellent. Sin City Saints. Another project of yours I want to talk about is you've got a, uh, a sometimes uh, workout partner and uh, together you have uh, sort of elevated your position in the fitness world as the Viking Brothers. Yeah, Go ahead and tell us correct. about that. Yeah. So what happened is again going back to extraction um, I was in incredible shape for the film. You were. And then uh, my friend Jacob, you know, he saw me. Jacob he, Peacock. Jacob Peacock. Also great actor, great beard, but he has a glorious hair, so. <laughs> anyway, so he came up to me and I said, hey, I wanna work out with you. It's like, okay, all right, let's see how long this guy's gonna last, right? And um, May 1st, we're gonna celebrate our three-year anniversary. Another of anniversary. Working out. Yeah. <laughs> Another anniversary. Uh, and, and Jake's a great guy, and he is, and he is jacked himself. He's uh, maybe not quite as tall as you. His yeah, beard, six five. Six yeah. five. His beard is strong. Maybe not quite as strong. Well, he as started yours. later, so <laughs> I had a little ahead of him. And um, but you guys have also offered. Uh, fitness tips and you've been in some some magazines tell us about that yeah so um, you know we're known as you know the Viking Brothers or our channel on YouTube is the real Viking Brothers and um, you know basically what we do sometimes is you know go out in the wild and then we, we work out with rocks and logs and everything we find around us in nature just like people used to work out like thousands of years ago ancient Greece ancient Rome um, without fancy machines or anything just the basics and um, so we, we, we got discovered by a, a photographer I was really interested, like, you guys are so different about what's going on in the fitness industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wanted to do a show with us. And uh, so we went out in the wild doing our usual thing. And um, then Maxim Magazine saw the pictures, like, wow, who are those guys? You know, we, we want to do, uh, you know, an article on those guys. So, um, you know, Maxim came along, you know, they wanted to do the photo shoot, they wanted to talk to us, do an interview. It's like, who are you guys? Where are you coming from? And I believe that was in the August issue of last year, 2015, that we got like six pages in Maxim Magazine. Saw it. Incredible. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Uh, is there a particular way? Is there do do, do the uh, Viking Brothers have their own web page or Facebook page? Yeah, we have our Facebook page, which is the Viking Brothers. Check that out. Um, Instagram, the Real Viking Brothers. So uh, check it out. You know, you might get some ideas because we want to break down, um, like 
in my opinion, you know, in, in the 50s, people were still doing it correctly, like natural fitness. Uh, we've got Muscle Beach, you know, people are, you know, standing on top of each other and like, it's unbelievable, amazing. Body, body weight exercise. Yes, body gymnastics. weight exercises. And uh, then, you know, it got kind of like diverted to more like pumping iron. Machine. That era. Machine machines and yep. all that stuff. But now I feel like, you know, people are kind of bored and they want to go back to the originals of physical fitness using body weight or when you use a weight you use compound movements like Olympic lifting yeah and basically you're firing every muscle in your body he's breaking it down for us this is Paul Duke so how do folks get a hold of Paul Duke he's here for your uh, answer your fitness questions and uh, he's, a, he's an amazing professional actor how do folks get a hold of you Paul um, well it's very easy you can contact us um, is Facebook the best Facebook, way Facebook yeah you know we can send us emails and uh, you know ask questions and Probably we just, answer them just reach out to you on Facebook how about that connect with you that way yeah absolutely it's Paul Duke and uh, what's really important is and this is something I really admire about Paul is that he and how he's collaborated with with Jacob is uh, that there are actors that are continue to not only work on their craft uh, intellectually and emotionally but they're working on this machine physical this physical machine it's an instrument and you I see every day at the gym Paul Duke and his partner often very very often with with Jacob Peacock and they're, they're doing it man they're taking care of their business just yesterday I was talking with Carl Weathers at the gym right yeah I think he's 10 years older than me and he looks right he looks amazing yeah incredible yes yeah. no accident he's there every day you know and I have so much respect and admiration and for you guys too so props to you if you enjoyed this interview go ahead and, and hit the like button on Facebook or subscribe if you're on the YouTube channel uh, reach out with any questions you might have fitness wise Paul Duke's available and again he's a heck of an actor thanks for spending some time with us breaking it down thank you Pete yeah thanks again it's Pete Koch breaking it down we'll see you next time